The sound of beating drums cuts through the air and the ground rumbles as a thousand boots march in step. The enormous flags crackle in the wind as standard bearers hold them aloft, the tips of metal pikes glinting in the sun. It's 1687 and King James II has assembled his army on Hounslow Heath to the west of London. For those who stand watching, it's an awe-inspiring spectacle, and that's exactly what the new king wants. This drawing by Willem van der Velde, the Elder, is an invaluable eyewitness record of this important event. The vast tract of land is perfect for the king to review the armed forces he has been steadily strengthening. Holding a military muster so close to the seat of government at Westminster is a deliberate show of strength. With the army under his control, the king is increasingly ready to defy the power of parliament and consolidate his own position. As we look closer, we can see the soldiers armed with weapons characteristic of the period, the long sharp pike and the heavy musket. Each regiment carries a huge flag. These flags, known as colours, are used as rallying points for soldiers, as well as allowing commanders to identify them in the field. The crosses of St George and St Andrew can both be seen. These denote the armies of England and Scotland, still separate, but often serving alongside each other. In many ways, this is the beginning of a British army. Off into the distance, we can make out ships moving along the River Crane, carrying goods to and from the Thames. Moving to the right, we see a wooden grandstand. Ah yes, the King is here! If you look closely, you can see his bodyguards standing on either side. But despite all of this pomp and splendour, James's reign will not last. Within a year, he will be deposed in what becomes known as the Glorious Revolution. Parliament is able to establish its authority over the Crown, introducing new controls on the use of the army and marking a new balance of power that continues to this day. <laughs>